Greetings again, we meet on our journey. We discussed in the past, we started off our journey with Exodus 23.20, that the Lord promised that His angels would go before the children of Israel on their way to the land of uh, milk and honey. And on their way, the Lord also said that he, the angel will bring them to certain tribes like the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hivites. And today we'll discuss, so, uh, touch upon the spirit of Jebusites and how it impacts our life in the spiritual, in the natural way. So when the children of Israel defeated all the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites and the Hivites, the last tribe that they had to defeat was the Jebusites. Now the word Jebusite, as I dwelt into the past and a little bit of study, the Jebus Jebusite is the name for the old Jerusalem. The Jebusites, what they did in Jerusalem, in the old Jerusalem, previously known as the dwelling place of Jebusites, is to defile the temple, to create div uh, division against body, soul and the spirit, to defile the body, soul and the spirit, to cast down, trample and to destroy. So this is the last act of the effect of all the spirits that we discussed earlier in our last couple of days. Having crept into your spiritual life the parasite spirit and we weaken our spiritual shield with murmuring with the Amorite spirit and we weaken our defile our bodies with idling and defile our thought patterns with Canaanite spirit by being zealous and covetous of the things of the world and we also extremely are fearful of the things that happens in the world that the world can bring to us through the Hittite spirit. Now all these things work together to bring us down in our spiritual walk with the Lord on our journey. Now the Jebusite spirit is a revolting spirit, just like the Hivites. The Jebusite spirit creates certain division, cast down and destroy, defiling the body especially. That was their way of living back in the old Jerusalem. And you can see that Jebusite spirit is also a certain Canaanite spirit attached to it as well, carnality. In the current context of an example we can take is that people claim themselves saying that this is how I was made by God. You need to accept it. That's the Jebusite spirit talking right through this. God created man and woman, male and female. And the Jebusite spirit now comes and says, yes. You are different and to make acceptance of it. So this division of the body and soul and the spirit impacting the spirit of spiritual war is very detrimental and it, it defiles the temple. As I mentioned, Jebusite is the word used for old Jerusalem, we are defiling the temple trampling the temple, putting your foot on the neck of the temple. Now, which is the temple of the Lord right now in the New Covenant, in the New Testament? Is your body. And if your body that you defile and use it for things that which the Lord has not ordained it to be used for, it's a sure sign that we can identify as a, a Jebusite spirit working in any person. Some people like to put tattoos on their bodies to defile, defend against what God has created. I have a definition for tattoos, a permanent mark of temporary insanity. Where that, when I talk to my friends, those who uh, 
uh, love to get tattoos on their bodies. And I ask them, why is it that you want to have it? And they say, it's because I like to have dominion over my body. I like to show my body that I can bear pain. I like to convince my mind that going through that pain is worthy. Then what about the pain that our Lord Jesus went through? When nails pierced his palms and his legs. What about the pain, excruciating pain that our Lord Jesus went through in the Garden of Gethsemane? Thinking about our salvation, the salvation not of the Jews, of the Gentiles, of you and me. So think about a situation where that you go through a surgery and cut open, allow the doctor to cut open. And if you can overcome and dominate your body of the pain, or even child, childbirth, try that out if you are a woman. So these people, those who try to defile your body with piercings, with tattoos and all that, with their mindset thinking that I overcome my body, I am the Lord and Master of my body. It's a clear-cut Jebusite spirit working in them. they will be very conscious of such influences in our life as well. My body, my way. Then why did our Lord Jesus die? What was his purpose of dying on the cross and suffering that excruciating pain? Even before that, as I mentioned, in the Garden of Gethsemane. If the man was imbued with the power to overcome the pain and pleasures of our body, why do we need even medicine for? So my brothers and sisters, please be careful of this teaching that divert you from the word of the Lord of the sacrifice, of the understanding and knowledge and wisdom that the Spirit of the Lord gives you of the sacrifice of our Lord and our bodies are filled with the Spirit of the Lord and with such teachings and influences where that people are filled with Jebusite spirit and try to influence you and to allure you to do things against the body that which is sacrosanct and that which is a living sacrifice to the Lord. Paul talks about it, expounds on it in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, very clearly, about revolting against. In previous instances of the spirit, so he writes spirits, canonized spirit, but the double mindedness and the carnalities, we discussed about it in detail as well. So we have to be very careful, conscious of the Jebusite spirit. So my brothers and sisters, we discussed about many challenges of the, the Israelites that when they were taken through these tests of faces by the angel of the Lord. I emphasize it again, as I realized it in my own life, when I faced all these, I have faced all these seven. I am still facing, I am not a victor still, but I am being perfected by the Spirit of the Lord. So I pray that it will be the same for you as well. So now that you have a clear understanding, whenever a challenge comes to you, this is what I do. Whenever a challenge comes to me, I ask the Lord. I try to discern it in my spirit. What kind of a bad and evil spirit is this? Then my mind tells me, okay, this is a parasite spirit. This is a canonite spirit. This is a Jebusite spirit. Of the revelation my Holy Spirit has instilled in me. And that root I am able to tackle right now. Identify it and pray accordingly. Targeting the root. In medicine there is something called targeted therapy. So target that particular pain point, target that particular ailment, give a pill to it or an injection to it, targeting it, destroy it, cure it. Same goes for spiritual battles as well. The spiritual realm also, we need to target the therapy. So our words that we use, 
in our prayer and how we vocalize our prayer with our Lord should be imbued and filled with such words, powerful words, targeting that particular spirit so that having identified it is easy for us to do. So I hope my earnest expectation is my brothers and sisters of what I went through, what I have shared with you, pouring out my heart would also help you to understand and recognize whenever an evil spirit out of this list of spirits that we discussed engulfs you or when you come face to face. So let's pray. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, for opening our spiritual eyes and physical eyes to understand these challenges that we discussed about how the Israelites went through and the angel of the Lord was with them and cut them off utterly. In the same manner, in the spiritual realm also, in the natural right now, which is manifested, we also go through the same set of difficulties and challenges. And the Holy Spirit who lives in us, the word of the Lord which is indwelled in us, may make us stronger and fortified and encourage us to overcome them with the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.